The victims who were kidnapped in Igwebe, Edo State, a week ago were led by the armed bandits to Uboha Forest in Eastern Southeast local government area of Edo State, where they have been calling for ransom. The police teams who had laid ambush had a technical hint of the whereabouts of the alleged kidnappers. At about 10 p.m. on Saturday, 14 January 2023, the police swooped on their hideouts where there was exchange of gunfire. In the process, the security teams were able to rescue 12 of the victims while three of the suspects were arrested. All the victims were moved to the police clinic in Benin City for urgent medical attention. Those rescued were identified as Eunice Eseba, Miriam Mowe, Faith Smart, Precious Eguije, and Obei Omabe. Others are Ama Benson, Favor Akungo, Ahimie Eimane, Christian Iere, Emmanuel Eseba, Iyoha Julius, and Aguele Beatrice. From the total number of victims kidnapped in the Igwe Ben train station, two persons are now left. One of the victims is the manager of the train station. Some of the victims in a brief interview said they were seriously dealt with by the kidnappers. They said those who were keeping watch on them were nine gunmen. A big thanks to them. They really did they very beautiful. For them to rescue us from the forest. I want to also thank His Excellency for everything you've done for us and the policemen. God bless you. The experience in the forest is not easy. But I thank God today I celebrate Sunday even though they are not good. Sure. The person that make us to get joy go us now. I wish I'm more blessed and more wisdom. Edo State Governor Godwin Obaseki, who was spotted in the police clinic in the GRA Benin City, commended the security teams for the efforts put in place so far in rescuing the victims. The governor promised to provide the enabling environment for the various security agencies in the state to nip criminal activities in the board. Governor Obaseki expressed worry why there was no enough security in the train station. We thank God. Uh, we're grateful that we have been able to secure the release of almost all the people who were kidnapped about a week ago from the Igwebe train station. The aerial support we got from the Air Force, from the police, and the drone support and the technology support, we were able to track them and with the training of the special forces we have and all the other members of the team we put together, we were able to release 12 out of the 14 that were being held hostages on hand. Um, we think it's something worth celebrating, something we should thank and appreciate our members of our security forces, uh, the sacrifice they put in, the endless nights, sleepless nights, uh, which we put into this um, effort must be commended. Edo State Commissioner of Police CP Mohamed Dankwara assured that the remaining two victims, which include the manager of the Igwe Ben Train Station, will be rescued on hurt. So yesterday at night, the security forces laid an ambush in trying to move the people from one area to the other. They intercepted them. So that is exactly what happened. So we are making progress. We will make sure that they are, they are released too. The hospital bills of the victims have been paid by Edo State Governor Gordon Obaseki while logistics for them to return to their various destinations were provided. In Benin, Festus, Alenhe, EBS News.